guys, this is djp 3 Games, and welcome back to episode 15 of my Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke. In today's episode, we are going to get a bunch of encounters, and that is really about it. Um, if we have some more time, I might start taking on the cycling road, but basically we're going to go get our two Snorlax encounters. We are going to go to the Fighting Dojo in Saffron City, and we can also get an encounter on the cycling road as well. So I just want to set myself up to see if we can potentially get any new team members. Alright. Nothing's really changed since the last episode. If you missed it, make sure you go check it out. Link will be down in the description below. But off screen, I did take care of a few things. I went and picked up the bicycle. Just so we can get around a little bit better. Um... Other than that, you know, I bought some more Pokeballs. Uh, sold a few items here and there. Just did some little things. I went and got the tea, gave it to the guards to get access to Saffron City and stuff like that. I think we've battled all the trainers in here. Yes, we have. We don't have Surf yet. So let's come down here and get this first Snorlax encounter. And see what it is going to be. Yes, we will use the Pokey Flute. Alright, let's see what this Snorlax encounter is gonna be. It is a Quillfish. Alright, um, go ahead and catch it. I'm gonna hope the other Snorlax isn't the same thing. Because. Really, probably not gonna use the Quillfish. We have a Suicune, so. It's not really a must-have on the team. I don't want to use waste too many Pokeballs on it or anything like that. Just kind of weaken it down here, throw a few Pokeballs. Mmm. Okay. That's a little scary. Just about got bodied by a cool fish. I would have freaked out. Oh, man. But yeah, if you guys missed it, um, yesterday, uploaded, okay, we're gonna get a crit, so never mind, we're not gonna get this cool fish, but yeah, yesterday, um, I uploaded my part of the massive tin battle that's going on, um, put on by Joey Fishing, so make sure you guys go check that out, um, I got some pretty decent pulls out of it, I wasn't upset by it at all, definitely a good purchase for $10, I got that tin from the Black Friday sales from Target. So yeah, make sure you guys check that out. Go check out some of my other TCG openings. Oh yeah, one thing I do, I do want to apologize for the last episode. I did mess up the audio. I forgot to include the in-game audio. So all you guys heard was just me talking the whole time. Which, yeah, can be pretty terrible. I don't like listening to myself talk sometimes. But I figured out what I did and we will have it fixed for next time. So let's go get this other Snorlax encounter. Let's hope it's not another Quillfish. I'll be pretty upset if it is. And then we'll come back and take on the Fighting Dojo. Hope you guys had a great weekend. It was one of my very first weekends off. Normally I have to work on the weekend, so it was a real different feel. I'm still trying to get, you know, kind of used to it. And it's getting closer to Christmas. It's getting very close to Christmas. We've only got about two weeks left. I'm getting pretty excited. Let's see what we get on this one. Oh, I just spilled water on myself. What's it gonna be? A Poliwhirl. I almost said Poliwrath, but Poliwhirl is definitely not a bad mon to have. Um, I have to get a water stone, which I should still be able to buy. And sell it on, I can have a polyrath. Uh, you guys, if I catch this, let, let me let me let me know if uh, it'd be worth 
and to the team of five evolve into a polyurea. I mean, I don't know if it would because we have Suicune and we also have Celio. Let's hope we don't get a crit here. What are the freaking odds? Jesus, come on. Alright. Well, um... <clears throat> good thing it's not... Well, we wasted both of our Snorlax encounters. Let's go over to the Fighting Dojo over here. And get a Static Encounter, because we can't kill that one with a critical hit. Man, that's, that's crazy. I can't believe we got crits on both of those. You know, just... Should through Great Ball, but, um, yeah, so we won't be able to add that probably will to our team because it is dead. I'm gonna battle these, and I'm basically going to. I don't know what I'm gonna pick, whether I wanna pick Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee. Um, hopefully, it'll say, like, instead of Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, it'll give me the options of what they actually are, so that way I can pick between the two. It's actually a little scary because these Pokemon are actually going to be up higher level, close to ours. Just because this is a little ahead of schedule. But I wanted to come over here and get this. Okay, that doesn't hurt as bad as I thought it was. I wanted to come get this Static Encounter to see if we had a chance in bettering our team. Because so I know Macargo, uh, someone mentioned Macargo and Lunatone aren't the greatest Pokemon to have right now. I know, but it's really about all I can work with right now. So I'm hoping we can get something good from the Static Encounter. Alright. Yeah, and like, like I mentioned, we're getting close to Christmas. Um, you know, what, what are you guys most excited for? Are you guys, like, going to visit family, um, getting presents, all the food? Um, or just, like, a mixture of all three? Because that, that's how I am. I, I like seeing my family. I don't get to see them that often. But, you know, presents are definitely nice, too. I'm pretty sure I'm getting an Elgato HD 60S, so we will start doing some live streams. I definitely plan on doing like a sleep lock in the future, um, a little bit down the road. And then I know I definitely want to uh, stream things such as, you know, some Fortnite, maybe some Destiny 2. Um, and I eventually want to get a 3DS capture card because I wouldn't mind streaming uh, Ultra Sun either just because I haven't had a lot of time to play it and I feel like if I stream it and play it then I can actually get somewhere with it but the only thing is finding a 3ds capture card has been kind of difficult and they're a little pricey but if anyone out there is wanting to get rid of theirs or can point me in the right direction please let me know I would greatly appreciate it I don't want to end up like accidentally getting bodied by just staying in. I need to focus, pay attention to typings, and make sure I switch out and make smart decisions. Because otherwise, it might not end up too well. Alright, Teddy Girl is level 35. We got Skarmory, we're going to stay out. We'll use Spark. That did a lot of damage, but it's paralyzed, so... Alright, that's good. Definitely do not want to lose Slifer. Okay, we gotta battle another one, too. Snubble, that's gonna be fine. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm finally uh, starting to use Audacity for my voice recordings. Um, it was kind of something I didn't know how it was gonna go, like, as far, as far as editing and stuff. I wasn't entirely sure, like, how hard it was gonna be to edit. Um, basically lining it up and I found it was really simple just last episode. I made the mistake and Didn't include the uh, In-game audio But I will make sure we have that for this episode So I, yeah, I noticed my audio the audio sounds a lot clearer as really easy to use um, the one thing I did notice is that like I have an okay PC it was kind of it was one I bought from a friend um, and it was one of the pre-built ones, just kind of you order, I want to say it's like a cyber-built PC, I think sounds right. Um, 
So I'm running this at 60 FPS right now, uh, recording on OBS and also using Audacity. But if I do anything else, like it starts to, my computer can't handle it, it uses too much of my computer. So like I can't be exporting something um, and hit film or uploading something to YouTube as well um, and kind of multitasking. I have to do one thing at a time, which kind of sucks, but it's worth it. All right, we got through two trainers here. Let's go ahead and switch out Slifer. Let's heal real fast. Don't want to end up in any sticky situations. And eh, we got a potion we use there. And, oh god. Okay, we have 30 super potions. I, I didn't think we had any for a second. I was like, well, what is going on? All right, let's battle these two, and then we get the Dojo Master, and then we can finally get the static encounter. Arbok, oh, level 36. That is a little scary. <clears throat> it's gonna paralyze us there. Okay, I'm gonna switch out. Um, I think Teddy's gonna be my best bet. I didn't realize. Both of his Pokemon are gonna be level 37 too. The Dojo Master. I didn't think about that. That's crazy. We're gonna get our map the channel. We're gonna heal. We're gonna go heal um, before this. Ooh, that hurt a little bit. Cover, no big deal. Just gonna bite. Someone's gonna take this future side attack. Um, it's gonna have to be Suicune. Gosh, this thing is so bulky. Oh, okay. The future side attack didn't do anything. Good thing is it's poisoned, so this Chansey will die. Snobby goes, oh, they got a ho -Oh. Why wouldn't they? Um, okay, the first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is heal. And then we're just gonna go for the bubble beam. Gust, that's fine. Okay, we should be able to take out this ho -Oh with no problems. Unless it pulls out something crazy, it did not, so that's good, that's good. Um, okay, we got we got 59 steps, so we, we can make it down to the uh, Pokemon Center here. If I can find it. Alright, let's heal up, and then we're going to go take on the Fighting Dojo Master. Because I really, really want to get... I think I'm going to lead off with Suicune. Just because I want to make sure we can take out... I was the Karate Master, not the Fighting Dojo Master. I apologize. Alright, he's got a Rapidash. So it is good that we are out with Suicune to take down. Alright, that's, that's fine. Bubble Beam should do some pretty good damage. You will Beam again. Fire Spin, no big deal. Alright, missed. Alright, one Mon down, one Mon down. One more to go. Alright, a Magneton. I think our best option is going to be able to go out to Speedy and use Ember. Spark. Ooh, we're paralyzed. That's not good. I'm going to switch out to someone else. Um, no, we're, we're going to have to stay in. I'm going to have to heal real quick. Lock on. That's fine. We're going to use Ember. Sonic Boom only does 20. It's fine. Alright, we got the crit. Nice, nice. Speedy should grow to level 34. Very good, very good. Let's see if it gives us an option. Alright, so it's got a bayonet 
and a Charmander. Oh no. It's gonna be at level 30. Do we take the Bayonet or do we take the Charmander? A Charizard would be OP. I feel like it would be Fate. And then we could teach Charizard to fly. I feel like I gotta take this Charmander, even though a ghost type would be nice. Oh no. This is such a hard decision. Um Dude, yeah, I gotta I gotta take the, the Charmander. Alright, what are we gonna nickname this Charmander? We'll give him a different nickname. Name him Lucas. Lucar oh no, not Lucario. Alright, there we go. So, I took the Charmander. Some, some people might uh, disagree with that choice. But, yeah, it, it's Charmander. So, um, Speedy is definitely going to go back into the PC for now. And we're going to pull Charmander out and add him to the team. Alright. Store. And we do have a Duskull in the PC, so we do have a Ghost type. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, let's look at all the Pokemon in the PC real quick. So we are going to take out Charmander, but we do have Murkrow, and we have Rimmeraid, who would evolve into an Octillery in five levels. We have Blissey, we have a Fearow, we have Duskull is holding a Metal Powder. That Duskull takes him, we have a Ludicolo, we still have Sally back in here, we have a Sandshrew that would evolve to a Sand Slash soon. We have Electric as well, that would evolve into a Magnetric. We have a Mantine, and we have a Dawn Fan. So, um, I might, I don't know what I might do. I really don't know. There, there's a lot of options here. Uh, you know, if you guys have any suggestions, please, please let me know. Like, as far as what's going to be the best for my team. Okay, the Pokemon's at level 25. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and use a rare candy on it to get it to evolve into a Charmeleon. Just because I f it's gonna be way more powerful as a Charmeleon than a Charmander. So let's get him to level 26 and it's gonna evolve into a Charmeleon. And then we just gotta get up 10 levels for a Charizard, and I may actually do some grinding between episodes and get him there. That sounds like a pretty good idea, to be honest. Um, instead of trying to risk switch uh, switch training and stuff like that, because Arena Trap and stuff like that is just not something I want to deal with. So now we do have a Charmeleon. We didn't even check Charmander's stats, um, first of all, so we don't know what kind of... Uh, ability or anything. But this one has suction cup, firmly anchors the body. I, don't, I really don't know what that does. But it's got Ember Metal Claw, Smoke Screen, and Scary Face. So, we will definitely train him up and get him evolved into a Charizard. What I might do is, just so I can have it evolve into a Charizard on screen, I will probably. I'll probably just like level it up all the way till 35 and leave, leave it with like just a little bit of experience. And then we can evolve it on screen. Or if I forget and happen to evolve it by accident, then I will definitely make sure it is included in the next episode when it goes up. But we already got counter on this route, so we're gonna go over here to the bicycle road and get the encounter up here. Let's talk to these guys. I doubt I have 40s 
species, but you know. Oh yeah, I've only caught eight, according to them. Okay, hang on. All right. Look a little young to be dating, but you know, I won't judge. Oh, I forgot about all these trainers. Um, let me go. Okay, he's got a Moltres. I just want to kind of speed through these, go get this encounter, and we're going to end the episode off there. I'm just going to keep these episodes to about 20 minutes. Um, let me know if you guys want to go longer. Or, you know, think it'll benefit me to go longer. Um, I, you know, I find it a lot easier just to make 20 minute episodes and just keep going. That way I can upload a couple times a week. And it'd be shorter just for you guys to watch. I mean, that that's my preference, especially if I'm watching someone play. I, uh, I definitely don't want to be sitting there watching it for an hour. Cause sometimes you just don't have that amount of time. I don't know, I just tackled that, but... Alright, we'll use a confusion, another confusion, and another confusion. Alright, now we're going to have to get around... Alright, we did it. Let's see what we're going to get on. This is Route 7. It's a Lava Fett. Alright. This can be good and bad. For one, we don't want to kill it and get Destiny bonded. And we also don't want to get countered by it. But. Yeah. This, this is something that could definitely be used... Um, in an instance where we have to maybe sack off Mon, and, oh, come on. Alright, it's just weakening it down here. Can't even hit anything right now. Definitely would like to catch this Wobbuffet, though. There's a crit. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh. <laughs> Come on. We got the crit and we just got freaking bodied. That is not good. Well, there goes our, uh... Our, uh, chance to put it to sleep. So we, we are just going to use the Thunder Wave here and just start throwing some Great Balls. So now i got, now I got to figure out who's going to replace Lunatone on the team. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. We've had Lunatone for a long time, too. That might give us a chance to put Duskull on the team. Alright, we caught the Wobbuffet. In the first try. I'm literally going to name this Boba Fett Death Fodder. And it's probably not going to fit though. No, it's it, it's not. But we're, we're just going to nickname this Boba Fett Death. Okay, and then we just kept going. We could have got we could have got a Waylord. That would have been pretty insane. I'm not gonna lie. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to hit the start button so we stop going forward. This is an awkward place to stop. And we get into a battle. I hit the start button like four times. This is crazy. Alright, we're going to finish this battle and then I'm going to end this episode. Alright, we got Whirlwinded. That is fine. We got Whirlwinded again. Just pick up some XP right there. We'll go ahead and switch Pokemon. Ladybug. Goodbye. Alright. So, we are going to end the episode off here. Really sucks that we lost him on, but we did manage to pick up Wobbuffet, and we got the Charmander from the Fighting Gojo, who is now a Charmeleon, 
and by the time the next episode comes around, he will be a Charizard. I promise you that. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and make sure you say subscribe for more Nuzlocke action. Also subscribe for TCG content because we have a lot of that going on. Hope you guys have had an amazing weekend. This is the JP3 Games, and I will see you guys next time. Peace! Comment down below, and make sure you say subscribe for more Nuzlocke action. Also subscribe for TCG content because we have a lot of that going on. Hope you guys have had an amazing weekend. This is the JP3 Games, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!